Were Apple marketing geniuses, or are they really just manipulating us? When Steve Jobs introduced the iPod in 2001, like any new product, it only had about a 10% chance of success. So they used a little bit of psychology and some emergent strategy. You see, up until that point, most headphones were black. They went across the top of your head or around the back of your skull. But the iPod came with a set of earbuds. They went in your ears instead of on them, and they were white instead of black, so they really stood out. Imagine you're on the subway or a college campus. Pretty soon, it seems like every Everybody has a set of these white earbuds. Everybody except you. Now there's social pressure to get them because everybody else has them. Apple's marketing team noticed the trend, so they started featuring the earbuds in their marketing.